And I'm pleased today to be joined by the Yonkers Police Commissioner, Charles Gardner, uh, Brian uh, Cayley of St. John's Riverside Hospital to launch a comprehensive uh, initiative to tackle an epidemic, uh, one that is on the rise in all of our communities all across this great nation of ours. And that, her and that epidemic is heroin abuse and addiction. Uh, we've all seen the headlines when it comes to heroin abuse, and Yonkers is certainly no exemption uh, when it comes to some of the, the suffering that is going on by this uh, abuse of this drug. As I mentioned in my State of the City address last month, our Yonkers Police Department is leading by example uh, in matters of drug prevention. Starting today, the YPD is launching HEART, which stands for the Heroin Enforcement and Assistance Response Team. Uh, HEART will focus on education, prevention, assistance, and enforcement of heroin abuse. Uh, the team will be comprised of YPD officers, caseworkers, and trained substance abuse counselors. And as many, uh, as, and, and as with many of our community outreach initiatives, we are also partnering, partnering with St. John's Riverside Hospital, which will provide detox, rehab, and counseling programs. So to provide more details about HEART, please let me welcome uh, the police commissioner for the city of Yonkers, Charles Gardner. Thank you, Mayor, and good afternoon. You know, as the mayor mentioned, the HEART acronym stands for Heroin Enforcement and Assistance Response Team. You know, we realize in the police department that the growing issue of heroin abuse is really not something that you can arrest your way out of. So this multidisciplined approach, including the efforts of units within the police department, our partners at St. John's Riverside Hospital, and in collaboration with our mayor's office, is really a more effective way to address this growing problem. And in the area of prevention, as you see, we have prescription drug collection boxes at all four of our precincts. Um, we find that abuse of opioid pills often leads to heroin addiction. And the addiction, in many cases, starts at home with the abuse of pain, prescription pain medications or prescription uh, medications. So we're providing residents an, an, an opportunity and a safe and efficient way to dispose of their unused, expired, or unwanted pain medications in a safe manner. Because we're hopeful that if they get these pills and drugs out of the home, they won't be less of an opportunity to come in contact with a relative or a loved one who may use these pills that can lead to an addiction, an addiction problem. You know, in the area of education, members of our Community Affairs Division will be giving presentations to the community and school groups on the dangers associated with heroin usage. We'll also be using our social media platforms and collaborating with our mayor's office to advertise the HEART program. Um, we've also produced a public service announcement video of the HEART program that will be played throughout the city. In the area of treatment and education, you know, we have produced these HEART cards, which contains vital information about the program um, on, on how you can connect to services and how you can provide information to the police department. And we will be giving these, giving these out uh, throughout the city by our patrol officers. And officers will have them available if they come into contact with a person who may be seeking treatment or someone who may have been arrested in connection with a drug case. And at our central booking facility, anyone that gets booked on a drug-related charge will be provided a heart card, which gives uh, vital information about at our program. You know, We're also going to be working with our district attorney. If we have a low-level a heroin abuser that was arrested, we're going to try to divert those cases to drug court. The drug court has more of an emphasis on treatment than incarceration, and we're hopeful that will help address the problem from, from the uh, court perspective. And we're also proud to say that the Yonkers Police Department was the first police agency in Westchester to deploy Narcan kits. You know, we've been deploying them here since 2014, and to date, we've used Narcan to save 17 lives eight of them since January of this year. And initially when we deployed them, they were provided to our emergency services officers, but as part of the HAR program, we're gonna be expanding Narcan to officers on patrol to make them more readily available in the event that we come across a, an addiction, I mean a, an overdose. So although the program, the majority focuses on prevention and education, um, we wanna send a message to those who are selling drugs or selling heroin in our city that we're going to be stepping up our enforcement efforts as well and uh, we're going to be holding people accountable for doing this and we're asking the public if they have any information about anyone that may be dealing heroin or drugs 
here in our city, they can call, call us anonymous, anonymously at our tips line, it's 377-TIPS, or they can send an anonymous text. Uh, you, the keyword would be YPD, push your tip to 847411, and it's completely anonymous, and anyone that has any information, we'll be more than happy to receive it. So in closing, I want to thank our mayor, the Honorable Mike Spano, uh, our partners at St. John's Behavioral Services uh, for making this program possible. And we believe that this program is taking a major step toward achieving an, a, a drug addicted free community. And at this point, I'm going to turn it over to Brian Cayley, the Vice President of St. John's Hospital Behavioral Health Services. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Um, I first of all want to say, and uh, you know, how grateful we are to be at St. John's Riverside Hospital, a part of this extremely important initiative. And I applaud Mayor Spano, uh, Commissioner Gardner, and the Yonkers Police Department for really taking the initiative to identify this issue that's really impacting uh, our community in Yonkers, as well as the county, as well as really the entire country. Um, we have a commitment uh, to the health care of citizens in the city of Yonkers, and we have a long history of uh, treating those with addiction issues. And we were very happy to be approached uh, to be a partner in this uh, project uh, because it really does require a partnership. Uh, it's been said already, uh, you know, the different pieces of this from prevention to treatment to enforcement. Um, that's what really is required. And I think that, you know, our message is that the hospital uh, stands ready to provide accessible treatment services to individuals and family. Uh, our message to everyone out there is that there is hope that treatment works and that we are, we stand by really to provide the services uh, that we are familiar with and have been doing for a lot of years and that are based uh, at Two Park Avenue in the city. So uh, once again, we're, we're grateful to be part of this. I appreciate the city's uh, commitment and insight, and uh, we stand ready to, uh, to do our part. Thank you very much. Thank you, Commissioner, and thank you, Brian, um, and, and certainly to our friends at St. John's for your efforts. Um, you know, we uh, can't do programs like this unless we have the support, cooperation, uh, and the funding that's given to us from the Yonkers City Council. One true champion for us, uh, especially in this effort, has been the Council President, Lee McLaughlin, and uh, C. Tavert is here representing uh, the Council President, so uh, send our regards. Uh, you know, uh, growing up in this city, uh, you know, you can, you can think, uh, especially you know, being one of 16 children, but you can think of the number of people you've known in your lifetime who, let's say, committed suicide. Um, horrible, horrible, uh, you know, mental illness and is, is a horrible uh, disease. I can think of more, and only in the last couple of years, I can think of more people that I know in this town who have died from heroin overdoses. That should tell you something. And I'm sure that each and every one of us uh, has a tale to tell. Uh, that should tell us something. So that's why we are taking this uh, very seriously. We know it's an epidemic. We know it's affecting, uh, it, it knows no age, it knows no color, there's no discrimination here. It affects everyone. And it's affecting our children uh, probably the worst. And, uh, and so we need to make sure that we have good programs involved so that we can deal with the epidemic uh, and get help to those who need it uh, put those in jails, who, those who sell it, uh, and, and try to keep our community as safe as possible. So I welcome our, our schools. I certainly welcome our police department. We have the finest police department around. Uh, and, and the different community groups that are working with us in this effort to reach out uh, to those um, who, who may need help. But always know that there is a city here uh, where, where the people are willing to help. Reach out to the police department, uh, talk to our residents, find out what uh, the effects of heroin abuse can, can have on, on your young people. Teach our kids about that, but always know that there are programs here and available in your city 
uh, to help deal with the effects of heroin abuse. Uh, so um, again, uh, thank you to our, to our police department. Uh, and thank you to St. John's uh, Community Affairs Division, obviously the police department, and all of you are here today uh, in this effort for us to end this, this epidemic. It's gonna take a lot of work, but this is certainly the right, uh, the right direction. And so, thank you. My name is Charles Gardner and I'm the police commissioner here in the city of Yonkers. And I'd like to address the growing heroin epidemic that has taken the lives of so many people across the country. It's for that reason that our department has joined with our mayor, Mike Spano, to create the HEART program, which stands for Heroin Enforcement and Assistance Response Team. One of our goals is to prevent addiction by educating the community about the dangers of opioid pills and how they can lead to heroin addiction. We have found that in many cases the addiction begins at home through the abuse of prescription pain medications. This is why we have placed drug give back boxes in all of our police precincts so that the community can safely dispose of opioid pills and other types of medications in a safe manner. We believe that removing these pills from the home will lessen the likelihood that they will be coming into contact with a relative or a loved one which can ultimately lead to an addiction problem. The Yonkers Police have also partnered with St. John's Hospital located at 2 Park Avenue in Yonkers so that our officers, when they come in contact with an individual who is seeking treatment or needs treatment, they can provide them with information and refer them to the many treatment options and programs that are available at St. John's. I'm Brian Kelly, Vice President of Behavioral Health Services for St. John's Riverside Hospital. We applaud Mayor Spano and the Yonkers Police Department for recognizing the heroin and opiate epidemic in our community and for taking the needed action to combat it through creation of the HEART program. We are proud to be a partner in this initiative and to make our system of treatment services available to the citizens of the city. Individuals and families struggling with this problem need to know that there is hope, that treatment works, and that St. John's Riverside Hospital stands ready to help. We've all seen the headlines. Heroin use is on the rise across the nation, and Yonkers is not exempt from this epidemic. If you know someone who is suffering from abuse, please contact us at 914-377-7375 to learn more about treatment, counseling, and other resources available to those in need. Yonkers Heart, Yonkers working together for an addiction-free community.